Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. This is an exciting day. This is the Kill Team Octarius box set. So we have everything out and everything put together. So bottom line up front, this is what your $199 gets you. Now for the sake of this, we're going to say $200. bucks. we are going to round it up to do our discussion. And we want to talk about what do you get for the money. So if you are an orc player, an orc kill team player, this is a must buy box. If you are a kill team player, an orc non-kill team player, or an imperial guard player, um, this is a box to buy and then to sell it off in parts. Now let's do some of the cost breakdown here of what you get in the box. So let's say you're into kill team, this book right here, the core book, that's going to run you 50 bucks. Then you have the various um, measure di dials here. They've got the new measure gauges, the ruler stick, some fortifications. These all come on one sprue. And you have the tokens. That's going to run you $35. So that's 85 bucks. We have our two squads of miniatures. This is what I'm always looking forward in the sets right here. That, let's just say $40. For each set so $80 in total let's be honest I could see these going for $50 but for the case of argument we'll say 40 each so right here you have a $165 value now the big surprise out of this box set is the value in the orc terrain you get a ton of orc terrain and now some of this is very similar to what you got in the speed freaks box but with this, you get bastion walls with platforms and little walk planks to connect all the platforms. And my favorite piece of all, and I might steal this for my Necromunda sets, is the oil derrick. I love this model. It's my favorite piece of terrain out of here. I honestly could see the board and all the or terrain going 200 bucks on its own. And that's in addition, and you're getting that in addition to the models and the books to play the game. Plus, um, just the accoutrements that come with the box. Got some dice, the tactical cards for both factions, and the Octarius book. Basically, how to play uh, this sector, this campaign, these two forces right here. So... We're going to go show what it looks like to unbox these, and we'll get some close-ups of the miniatures here. But if you're just an Imperial Guard player, not into Kill Team, go. I'd probably just go buy the set as a standalone, buy the guards from someone else who's uh, selling. Um, but honestly, this box is great for Orc players, even if you're not a Kill Team player, you can sell off the other parts. So it's actually a very solid uh, box set for what you get. I'm not a huge orc player. Brian from the channel is. So he fell in love with this set. He's just selling off these guys right here. But there's actually a surprising amount of value packed into the $200. And mainly in the form of the terrain. So that was a bit surprising. But let's go ahead and see what this box looks like as you unpack it. Alright, so I have my box unwrapped. Here and we're ready to open it up and see what we get inside. And it's not the lightest box in the world. There we go. So, as in most of these situations, we're going to start off with a field of gray on the inside. So, got some. Oh, these seem to be mixed in. Alright. So we've got some of the measuring templates and ground obscurement dribbling to protect our troops. We have orc terrain, orc terrain, orc terrain, and it just keeps on coming. Okay, maybe this will be the last of the orc terrain. Okay, so we have four unique sprues of orc terrain. And 
Now let's see if we can split these into... Oh, wait. Make that... I mean, that's six sprues of work terrain. And this is the thick grade stuff. Okay, so six sprues of work terrain. So now let's look at the models. We have the orcs and the death corps, or as veteran guards are calling them. Okay, so this is it. These are some weapons. Oh, that's what they're doing. So this must be the basic death corps Krieg frame. And these are the upgrade sprues here. This will be great for Necromunda, the sprue right here. But otherwise, and then we have the Orc Commandos. So that is actually, okay. So that actually was connected here. So three sprues of Orcs. Excellent. Now, we get to the wall art, which I saved these. So this side is damaged because it's facing the plastic. And haha, -ha, an undamaged side. But of course, the side with the barcode, well, it's still a little damaged. Hmm. Yeah, this box got beat up and shit in it. Okay. Now, underneath that is our bases. Looks like we got some six sliders here. Got ten of those. Uh, here's our tactical operations card for the Octarius. Okay. Ah, so you get the core book, the Octarius book, and the assembly instructions. And here's the thing I like to collect. I like these little boards here. So the little game boards. And of course, the transfer sheets. And it is Death Corps of Krieg transfer sheet. And Orc Commando transfer sheets. And you get a nice sturdy box at the end. So now I'm going to put these models together and we'll see what they look like up well, close. What I'm going to do is do a close look at the models here because these are. Absolutely wonderful plastic models of the Commandos and the new uh, Death Corps of Krieg in plastic for the first time. But one of the first things I like to do as part of the value proposition is look at what's left on the sprue. So we have the Death Corps of Krieg sprues and the Orc Commandos. Now the Orc Commando sprues, when you look at them, it's several weapon options on there. Um, some head options, some variety there. So these will fit on to your existing uh, orc and orc commando models. But the best value, and the thing I love, is the Death Corps of Kriegsbrew. Really just a lot of stuff left over on this one. And it's great if you're into Necromunda and any other form of kit bashing. Now here's a close-up of the forces themselves. Now first off, I want to say that Normally in most Games Workshops boxes, especially their starter boxes, they've been going for this push fit. These are not push fit. These are the actual production models. And what I actually found is they went together easier than the push fit because you don't have to struggle with, you know, lining the pins up and the pins being manufactured uh, to too high a tolerance. Now, uh, I'm more of an Imperial Guard player. So if we look at these guys, huge detail, huge detail on a lot of these here. And just a huge number of poses. There's actually more options for guys to build than you have body frames. So each torso option has about three different um, figures you can make. So you have your special characters. And I love the guy with the mace. It's a nice touch there. Um, but the ones who win, and it's always the orcs for the most character here, is let's look at something like the orc uh, knob, commando knob. Uh, very nice sculpt and everything. But some of his lackeys here, let's just point out, <laughs> you got your special boat service, 
commando and your special air service commando here. You can tell by the uh, head options. And something that I thought was uh, a real nice touch and what I went with was the uh, grot with snorkel on there and the flippers. A really nice touch. Something that surprised me is the uh, communications work commando. I haven't seen one of these. So this is very similar to a, um, a spiral fractal antenna. You see some of the JSOC guys roll with or they were t trying them out, but uh, that's a nice touch right there. Give a little bit of authenticity. So that's not a weapon, that's actually an antenna. So what I wanted to say is these are beautiful models, beautiful set, huge amount of terrain. I mean, if you can just look at that, a huge amount of terrain there. So this set is definitely worth a purchase, even if you only want a piece of it and you're going to hack up the rest of it and sell it off in pieces. I actually think that if you just wanted to walk away with a squad and sell the rest off, I think you get your 200 bucks back. Um, so this is Miniature Wargaming Labs reviewing an excellent box set here, and we'll see you next time.